All right, friends, so we're gonna go ahead and take it into our next workout. This one is a mix of strength and high intensity interval training. So all you need is a pair of dumbbells and your own body weight. And when you hear interval training, don't freak out. You don't have to jump if you wanna keep things low impact. I'll be sure to show you lots of modifications. So let's get in an awesome burn and an awesome sweat. We'll go ahead and get started. So I have my Tabata Pro timer here on my phone. It's super helpful if you wanna do interval training at the gym. Have it set for 45 seconds. We're gonna do our strength followed by 30 seconds of high intensity interval training. So go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Let's start this thing. We're gonna start off with a lunge. So you can hold one or two dumbbells. We're gonna take a nice big step back, lift up that chest, sink down into your lunge, exhale, squeeze to rise. We're just lunging right here. So think about really squeezing your glutes all the way up and also try to keep your ears over your shoulders, over your hips and watch that front knee, make sure it stays stacked over that front ankle. Deep breaths, great job. And make sure that back heel is lifted off the floor. Aim for 90 degrees in the front, 90 in the back. Perfect, we have about 10 seconds left. Breathe. All right. So let's ditch those weights. That same leg stays back, and we're gonna take it into jumping lunges just on this one side. So you can move as quickly as you would like if you don't wanna jump. Anna's right there doing regular body weight lunges. So your choice, even if you wanna do a few, stop, do a few regular lunges, your goal is to get that heart rate up as quickly as possible. So take some deep breaths, keep that nice wide stance, Hopefully that leg is on fire because mine is. How yeah, are you doing? On fire. <laughs> ah, and switch sides. So let's go ahead and grab those weights. Give that leg a, a break. Step it back. And we're lunging. So option here, you can always hold one or two weights. If you wanna make this more challenging, just grab some heavier weights. And this is our quote, recovery. <laughs> Good. Hopefully you feel that heart pumping. Really squeeze those legs all the way up. Nice, tall posture. Beautiful job. Got 10 seconds, friends. Get nice and low. Here's five, three, two. Ditch those weights. Same thing. Let's jump. Here we go. Option to just take it quick. Body weight lunges. Think about really pressing that floor away from you. Squeeze to rise. And same thing, if you wanna jump for a few, do a few regular body weight, do what you need to do to challenge yourself. Doing an amazing job. Keep it going. Nice deep breaths. And let's go ahead and release. Oh. <laughs> Grab those weights. And we're heading into squats. So I want them to be nice and heavy. Knees go wide. Make sure that you're thinking about sitting back and away. So scoot that booty back. Really think about pressing that floor to squeeze your glutes all the way up. Keep that chest lifted. Get down nice and low. Good, exhale on the way up. Amazing job. Got 10 seconds to go and go for those nice heavy weights. There's five. And we all know what's coming. And let's ditch those weights. 30 seconds. Jump squats right here, or regular body weight squats. You can see how Anne's keeping her weight in her heels, chest is lifted, exhale, squeeze. And the goal, get that heart rate up. So maybe we move a little faster, Maybe we get a little bit lower. Power through those legs. You've got five seconds, let's go. And release it. Go ahead and grab those weights. Oh. Bicep curl into overhead shoulder press. Get nice and smooth. So we curl, elbows wide. Exhale, squeeze to the top. And make sure you're not clanking those weights together at the top. Nice control. All the way up, all the way down. Beautiful job. 
Really think about squeezing those biceps, your glutes. Nice bend in those legs. Perfect. How many seconds we have? Three seconds. Let's do one more. And let's ditch those weights. Taking it in to vertical jumps. So you're right here. Exhale, spring off the floor. Get as high as you can. So aim for dynamic, low, high. If you wanna ditch that impact, touch the floor. Exhale, lift. Option to come up onto your toes. So go where you need to go. Let's get that heart rate up, friends. Great job. Three, two, and let's release it. Last time we're gonna grab those weights. Oh, just kidding, we have two more rounds. <laughs> Got front to side shoulder raise. The front, we come to the side. So I'm using 10s right now, and they're really heavy. So if you're using heavy dumbbells, do what you can. Or Anna's right here modifying one weight. Hold a single in the front, single to the sides. Good. And just like I said before, keep those weights from falling down. Control down, control up. Weight stop just in line with those shoulders. And everything else, super still. So no momentum, pure shoulder power. And let's ditch those weights. So we actually grab one weight. I'm gonna come into a little jack press right here. Good. I hope good job. Awesome. Modify, you are right here. Tapping your leg side to side. So modification, you just break up that jumping jack, tap side to side, or you can ditch the weight, grab a heavier weight for more intensity. And let's ditch those weights. Okay, coming into tricep extension. So one weight or two weights. I'm gonna use one up overhead and lift on up. Perfect. Good job. So elbows are squeezing in towards your head. Think about engaging that core and go for full range of motion here. So you want nice full flexion at the bottom, full extension, squeeze all the way up. Think about really squeezing those shoulders. Awesome job. Nice deep breaths. Perfect. Here's three, two, and let's release it. Our last hit drill of this first set. You're gonna four, pop back to a plank, you tap, you tap, jump in, jump out. We tap, tap. Good, so modification options. You can walk back to your plank, you can tap right here, or come onto your knees. You're just doing shoulder taps. So go wherever you need to go. Five seconds. Here's three, two, and let's release it. So friends, you can repeat this workout up to two more times for three times total. Get an awesome strength and cardio workout. So thanks for working out with us. Okay. We'll see you later. Great job. Bye. Guys. Bye.